most important thing you need to do is really just do your best for your clients. Um, do I ever ask a patient to inhale the crude combustion products of a dried plant? Our survey says... Woo! So my whole reason for wanting to talk to you guys especially is to kind of put out this thing of your well-being first and your customer's well-being is far, far superior to any sort of likes or amount of followers or anything like that because at the end of the day, you're going to find out that all these people that are, that are investing their time so heavily into this platform, it's a great thing to do if that's where you find your security. And you hear the same thing time and time again. People that have been tattooed in 10, 20 years, all they've seen is a panel of skin this close to their face for 20 years. They don't have any experiences to talk of, they, don't, they have a few funny stories, but it's not like if you hang out at like a social with your other friends that don't tattoo, they've got this whole life and you're like, wow, like that's cool, but that's, I don't have that. You know, How many times do your customers tell you something that's really cool that they just got back from and you wish you could be like, oh yeah, that's cool, but your only stories are conventions? and traveling to and from conventions and working a whole bunch and your buddy came in late one day and you were already at work. It's like these aren't life stories, these are just work stories. So maybe reevaluate a little bit from that perspective. The way I treat Instagram is I treat Instagram like a business. Like the way, the way I look at it is like it's a tool. It's a free tool that you can use to provide for your life. And so if you use it as a tool and understand that it's a, it's a tool, that it's like a hammer. You use a hammer to put in a nail. So you use Instagram to get clients and create a lifestyle. But if you use it so personal and take it so personally, I mean, would you take a hammer personally? If, if you know, if the hammer fell on the floor, would you be like, fuck in my life, oh my God, you know? <laughs> no, you, you would just be like, it fell on the floor. It, it, it didn't hurt you. So you have to realize it's a tool and use it as such, treat it as such. Don't put too much into it like your, you know, like your soul, yeah. because it's soulless. And so if you just treat it that way, you'll be all right. You know, I, we've all been caught up in the Instagram thing. I mean, Instagram's an, an addiction. It's like any other drug. And you have to realize what it what it's doing, you know what I mean? And like I said, just treat it as a tool and use it as your benefit. And just do that and you'll be happy. You know, I try not to get too lost in it, man. There's times I take a week off of it. Yep. Because it's like, man, fuck this thing.
name is Winnie the Drew. I'm here to tell you that legends never die. R.I.P. Cody. And if you can try and work out a routine for yourself that works, that maintains your credibility as a tattoo artist, but also your mental health, try and work that out now so that in 15 years you have life memories instead of tattoo memories. You know, it's awesome to give back to your customers, but it's even awesomer to give them a part of yourself with that tattoo based on your experiences that you've done. And the only way to get those experiences is to take some time for yourself. Since you've been away